All right, space fans, buckle up because I'm about to take you on a quick, star-hopping journey to a cosmic neighbor you've probably never heard of Gliese 1002. Now, you might think Alpha Centauri or Proxima Centauri are the only cool kids on the block, but Gliese 1002 is just 16 light years away, a pretty reasonable trip if you've got a warp drive handy. Yeah, Star Trek fans, that's about as close as you get to engage in the real world. So, what is Gliese 1002? It's a red dwarf star, much cooler and dimmer than our sun. Imagine a cosmic nightlight glowing softly in the galaxy. But here's what makes Gliese 1002 seriously interesting. It's got not one but two exoplanets orbiting it. Let's beam in on those planets. First up is Gliese 1002b. This planet is a bit bigger than Earth and orbits super close to its star like, sunscreen won't help you here close. But the real showstopper is Gliese 1002c. This one's a little farther out, and it sits right in the star's habitable zone. That means, in theory, it could have the right temperature for liquid water, so if you're dreaming of alien oceans or maybe even life, this place just made your wish list. And before you ask, no, we haven't found any signs of Klingons or Vulcans, but with telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're starting to sniff out atmospheres and maybe, just maybe, the building blocks of life a mere 16 light years away. Plus, there's no sign of a massive protoplanetary disk right now, but these planets show this system is already cooking with gas. It's like the ultimate Star Trek episode where the crew scans an unknown star, and you're right there on the bridge. So next time you look up at the stars, remember Gliese 1002 might not be the brightest, but it's got secrets worth exploring. Who knows, maybe one day we'll visit its planets for real. If you love this cosmic adventure, don't forget to hit like, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you never miss a space scoop. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your mind open to the universe.